Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. All right, today we're gonna do a super simple, quick and easy chicken thigh with some heart of palm pasta. Super low in calories and super healthy. All right, let's get started. And you guys have to let me know, do you guys like my new lighting? Do you guys like my new angle here? I'm trying to try something out different. Yes, we're moving, so I'm not gonna try to get a down pack perfect cause we'll have a new house. Can't wait. All right, so we're gonna start on our chicken thigh marinade, which is also later gonna become our creamy pasta sauce. So first, we're gonna start with the juice of these Goya olives here. If you don't have olive juice, you can always just use some apple cider vinegar or white vinegar. We're gonna do two tablespoons of that. Then I have some Sky Valley Salsa Verde sauce. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of that. Then we're gonna add some Weber chicken seasoning. About a teaspoon of that, I love it because it gives amazing color and it's a little bit spicy. We're gonna add some Redmond real salt. About a teaspoon and some cracked black pepper. About a quarter teaspoon, some more paprika. You guys know I love my color. Because before you eat the food with your mouth, you eat it with your eyes. Then we're gonna add some organic rosemary. Whether you have dried or fresh, whatever you have works. And some cilantro. So typically in my marinades, I like to go ahead and use dry spices rather than fresh. Because cilantro, whenever it sits in any type of acid, it tends to break down and turn brown. And it's just not as pretty. So we're gonna add a teaspoon of cilantro. Mix that up. See, this is the color I was talking about. Nice and brown and tan already. Mix that. I like a little bit more acid, so I already have some pre-cut limes. I'm gonna go ahead and take the juice of half of a lime. And if for whatever reason your juice of, or not your juice, <laughs> for whatever reason, if your limes don't have that much juice, just throw them cut in the microwave in half for about 10 to 15 seconds and the juice should loosen up. Mix that together, and then we'll bring in our chicken. Now we can go ahead and work on taking off the skin of our chicken thighs. I have two bone-in, and they're gonna be skinless, chicken thighs. Chicken thighs are so great because they are almost nearly impossible to overcook. <laughs> same for this one around the bone chicken thighs are honestly probably one of the easiest proteins to debone just because it's just so simple and straight here there's no crazy tendons involved that are gonna get in the way but always leave the bone in for more flavor we're gonna go ahead flip them over and we're gonna do some docking to it this just helps the marinade penetrate a little bit better and it helps get some uh, steam through there when you're cooking to make them quick cooker. Make them cook quicker. <laughs> All right, now we can toss them in our marinade. Now I'm gonna let that sit for 20 minutes. Now that our chicken thighs are done marinating, I have my cast iron pan over medium low heat. You can go ahead and use any type of pan that you have. I just love the crust that cast iron gives. So now I'm going to just drip off a little bit of the excess marinade and place them down. And I don't wanna to hear too much of a sizzle. The way you hear it's super, super quiet. That's what you want. You just wanna cook them low and slow. Tiny bit of sizzle. And we're gonna reserve this excess marinade for our pasta. And now we're just gonna go ahead and place a lid and let them cook about seven minutes aside and continuously keep flipping. Now for the veggies for the chicken, we're gonna go ahead and use one bell pepper and about half of an onion and some delicious banana peppers that I got out of my garden. They all originally started off green and then as they ripen, they just turn red and yellow. But they're just super sweet and almost just kind of like a neutral pepper. They're not too spicy, they're just great. So we're gonna start by slicing our onion just to 
about a quarter of an inch little rings and they're just gonna fan out as they cook. We're just gonna throw away the root end and just start opening them up. That looks great. Now for the bell pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and take off just the little ugly spots. Clip that off, throw that to the side. There's a little bruise in mine. So we're just gonna go ahead, chop that out. Perfect. Now the easiest way to cut a bell pepper is just straight off the top. And then from the inside here, you have the three segments. Gently one, gently two, gently three. Now you can always save the seeds, throw them outside in your garden, or just throw them away. Went ahead, got rid of the seeds. Now we're just gonna chop it in half, lay the flat side down. And now if you like them smaller, you can just start this way by chopping, or if you like them a little bit longer, you can chop this way. So we're gonna do them nice, long, and thin. And you don't have to be too perfect about it. I personally like my bell peppers pretty firm when it comes down to cooking them. I don't like them to be really soft, so it doesn't need to be too perfect. I'm gonna do the second one. And last little piece. And then for the top, we're just gonna go ahead, peel this part out, chop it straight down the middle, and just do little segments. Perfect, now we're ready. It's been seven minutes, now we can go ahead and check on our chicken. Looks pretty good. Now we're just gonna throw the lid on, let it cook another seven minutes. I went ahead and added a little bit more of that Weber chicken seasoning just for some extra color. And if you wanna throw on some paprika, go ahead and do that. I'm actually gonna cook it without the lid just to get a little bit more crispiness and some color. Chicken looks great and it's fully cooked. Now I can go ahead, remove it to a plate on the side and let that rest. I went ahead and added our chopped vegetables and onions to a stainless steel pan just with a little bit of oil. I'm gonna go ahead and add some Weber chicken seasoning and let them cook for six to seven minutes. So now for our pan sauce in the same pan that we cooked the chicken, we're gonna go ahead and add a half a cup of chicken broth or some water with some bouillon. Let that come to a light bubble and then just start scraping the bottom for all of the pan drippings and the flavor. While that's coming up to a bubble, we're also gonna go ahead and add our leftover marinade. Of course, this had the raw chicken in it. So you just wanna make sure that you go ahead and cook that out. We're at a nice bubble now. I'm gonna go ahead and let this boil for three to four minutes until it's reduced by half and a little bit thicker. While the veggies are still cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and add the leftover olives, about a fourth of a cup of the Goya olives. And you don't have to chop them. If you eat them whole, leave them just like this and a little bit of that brine as well. And for some added flavor, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a frozen cube of some homemade sofrito. Now that our sauce is thickened up really nicely, we're gonna go ahead and add two tablespoons of butter and start stirring that in. You'll wanna continuously whisk just so it all comes together and it's not oily on top. And if it is, it's still gonna taste the same. It's just not gonna look as cute, but taste is really all that matters. We're gonna go ahead and use a can of Miracle Noodle Heart of Palm pasta. It's already fully cooked, so all you have to do, open the can, drain the liquid, give it a quick rinse under some cold water, and mix it into your sauce. Now that we have our sauce, we can go ahead and add the juice of half of a lemon. Try to not get the seeds in there. Bring that together. Now we can go ahead and dump our Miracle Noodle Heart of Palm pasta. I'm gonna grab some tongs. Then just mix that together. This is a great low carb option. So, so good. Looks pretty good. Now we can plate. Went ahead and added four cloves of some crushed garlic just for some added flavor. That looks so good. And of course, I'll have the link down in my bio for where you can get this and a discount code. Oh, can't wait to eat it.